helping us in any way. Uh, they haven't even seen this stuff. Uh, we just love these brands and, and, and uh, use them to make some fun ads. So let's say this is an app, this is an app that gives me some entertainment news. And uh, at the bottom, I have a Toy Story 3 banner. Toy Story 3 is an awesome movie that uh, Disney's putting out uh, in June. And uh, so I click on that banner. I've seen it. It's really good. <laughs> and so you click on the, on, the, on the banner, and we take over the screen. The ad takes over the screen, comes down with animation. All this stuff is done in HTML5, by the way. Okay. <laughs> it's really easy to do. And uh, you see animation, everything else. Now, you see that X up at the top there? If I just tap on that X, I go immediately back to my app right where I left off. So the user at any time can say, take me back to my app. This disappears, and I'm back in my app. So let's go explore this ad, right? which is really a, kind of a universe here. There's a snake in my boat. You know, so I can listen to the characters. To infinity and beyond. <laughs> Golly, Bob, howdy. And I've got some videos here. Again, this is a little HTML5 gizmo that uh, is made available to you know developers, and they can just you know they can make their own stuff like this too. It's real easy. And so I'm going to just pick a video here, and. Uh, hmm. Right? And of course, if I wanted to, I could uh, just turn this 90 degrees and watch it this way. All right, I guess I have to say play. Hmm. Me. And again, this is all streamed video right onto the phone. And uh, they've included a game in this ad. And uh, well, we've included a game in this ad. And uh, <laughs> so here we go. This is a simple game. And I get to uh, look and see where things are. So that's fine. I'm not very good at these things usually. But I, so there we go. All right. <laughs> All right. Anyway, this is, this is good. So, so I've got a game. I've got posters. Uh, and I can just tap here and have them as wallpapers. So again, the advertiser can just uh, give me some wallpaper for my phone. And uh, users like free stuff. Um, theaters, if I want to see where uh, the movie's playing, there it is right there. All right? We know our location. There's a theater. And uh, so I've got my location. And there's a Toy Story Mania game that I can buy right in this ad. I don't even have to go to the App Store. The ad can sell me the game right here, and I can push this button, and it'll download right onto my phone. So this is an example uh, of a new kind of mobile ad. Have you ever seen an ad like this? You know? Anything even close? <laughs> it's, it's amazing. So let me, uh, let's go look at another one. Uh, I've got one here that's, uh, that's Nike. We love Nike. And um, this is, we made this ad up for their Air Jordan show, uh, shoe. Again, none of these folks are endorsing us in any way. We just love their brands and, and uh, love their products. So this goes right into a video. Cool, huh? And then, uh, so let's go ahead and look at, uh, I can look at design or some photos, but I'm going to want to show you this cool thing, history here. And that, again, somebody built that little navigator, very simple. So this is the, the, the history of the shoe uh, starting in, in 1985, and you just, you can just flick, flick through the different years and, you know, see how the shoes evolved each, each year if you're really into this stuff, and a lot of people are, um, you know? So again, you just see the shoe progress throughout the years. Pretty cool. So let's go back. And uh, here's Nike ID. This is a really cool program where you can make your own shoe. 
And uh, Nike's been doing this for a while, and it's great. And so it says, shake your iPhone for more examples. So I shake my iPhone, get another one. Shake my iPhone, get another one. And there's an app right here, Nike ID, that I can download to my phone, and it lets me build these custom shoes and order them from Nike right here on my phone. And if I want to find a store that's carrying these nearby, uh, again, it'll find my location and put up some places to carry the shoes. Right? So that's an example of what a Nike ad could look like. And here's another one. This one for Target. I mean, Target's awesome. And, uh, you know, time to get inspired. Great. And again, you can have animation bringing these things on. I just click on it. It takes over the screen again. Back to school. All right, so I could play that again, or I could uh, build my own dorm room, let's say. So let's see what that's like. I am a dude <laughs> who's into fashion, skateboarding, music, sports, I'm going to say music maybe. The music, and I'm going to Baylor, Berkeley, and yeah, pick my school, Michigan. <laughs> so let's build my room, and, and uh, it's going to put up all this stuff that they carry, this Michigan furniture here. I want a beanbag chair, let's say, and I want a wall clock, and, uh, oh, I don't know, let's say a Michigan rug. And again, I can just look at my shopping list here. And it shows me everything, and I can just go buy it if I want to. I can find a Target store, you know, either near me or near my school, because I don't want to lug all this stuff back there, right? It's that simple. So, and again, I can return to my app anytime I want. So that's an example of three ads that are very easy to make, right? And in addition to ad agencies being able to make these things, there are hundreds of thousands of iPhone app developers that know how to make those things. So uh, we think this is going to be pretty exciting. Emotion plus interactivity. The ads keep you in your app. So you're much more likely to click on them and want to go explore them, because you can always get back with just a touch. They're built into iPhone OS, iAd is, the framework is, so it's really easy for developers to add iAd opportunities to their app. Apple will sell and host the ads, and the developer will get the majority of the revenue. So that is iAd, and that is our seventh tentpole. So let's review. Multitasking, folders. Dramatically enhanced mail client, iBooks, much deeper enterprise features, a preview of GameKit, and iAd. And these are just seven of the over 100 user features and over 1,500 new developer APIs in iPhone 4. Now, we are releasing a developer preview today. Developers can start testing it now, can start using these new APIs now to enhance their apps. And you can get it today at developer.apple.com. We are releasing it to end users for iPhone and iPod Touch this summer. And that's for the iPhone 3GS and the iPod Touch third generation. That is iPods that we shipped last fall in 32 and 64 gigabyte models. And they will run pretty much everything. And for iPhone 3G and iPod Touch second generation, they will run many things. But there are some things they will not run because the hardware doesn't support them, like multitasking. So iPhone 3 and iPod Touch second generation will not support the multitasking. The hardware just can't do it. But iPhone 3GS and iPod Touch third generation will support everything you've seen today. So summer, and we're bringing iPhone OS 4 to the iPad this fall. All these features on the iPad. So that's iPhone OS 4. 
And I really want to thank you for coming today.